Hello, it's Arit here. Welcome to another video on the Estatino Artist channel where we share all kinds of tips related to helping you grow your business online. So in today's video, we're gonna look at how to check the audience retention on your channel. So there are actually two ways to do this. You can check the audience retention rate for your entire channel as well as at the video level. So going deeper into uh, whether or not your audience, you kept your audience engaged for a specific video. So we're gonna look at that. We're gonna see in the back end how to read the retention report and also some things that you can do to improve retention rate on your channel. So retention rate is pretty important. I mean, because it's related to watch time on your channel, which is the most important metric. So if you can understand how to better engage your audience and keep their attention on your videos, on your channel, then that increases YouTube's affinity towards your channel, meaning that increases the probability that YouTube will recommend your videos more and your channel more, leading to more organic growth. So let's take a look at how we can even see audience retention in your channel. I'm logged into the back end of our YouTube channel here. And the first thing you need to do is go to analytics and then click on the engagement tab. So under this graph here, you'll see key moments for audience retention. And that is the audience retention report for your channel. If you wanna see it at a video level, we're gonna click into a video and I'll show you what that looks like. But just know that there are four types or four variables that YouTube looks at to spit out some data for you on whether or not your videos are engaging your audience. So the first factor here is intro. So it's going to look at whether or not your audience is still watching within the 30 second mark. And you want to have this a high percentage. So you can see here, 66% um, of people who watch this video were still engaged within the thir first 30 seconds. And I mean, you, of course you want people to be engaged throughout the whole video, but the very beginning is where people mostly drop off. So you really want to make sure that, you know, you have um, your videos here and the videos that are, that you want people to watch more often, you can kind of see if they're not showing up in this top list here, then maybe you need to go back and adjust the beginning. So there's a few things that you can do to increase this percentage. Um, a, a good percentage or a higher percentage for your intros could mean one of two things. It could mean that, you know, as soon as people are clicking into the video, it's meeting the viewer's expectations of content. So if you're not seeing the high percentage, then maybe you need to adjust the thumbnail, for example, because as soon as people click on that thumbnail and enter the video, they might be leaving right away because it's not meeting their expectations of what that thumbnail portrayed the video to be about. And another thing could mean that, you know, if this is a high percentage here, that you're just basically engaging the audience with whatever introduction you're using. So maybe it's, you know, introducing yourself right away, being more personable. Maybe it's telling people what they can expect in the video. So if whatever you're saying in that video is meeting, again, expectations, then they're gonna, it's more likely that they'll stick around to watch the rest of the video. So to get this percentage higher, experiment with different, th different thumbnails, different titles, and different intros um, to see what works best. So this is one type. This next type here is called continuous segments. And this is basically going to be telling you, this is basically going to be picking out the longest continuous segments that people are watching. So for example, in this video, the majority of the viewers watching this video stuck around for 43 minutes during this entire segment, this, por this portion of the video. And if you want to kind of see what those what what's in that video that you did you can always kind of um you can always play this you can adjust this time here um you know if you wanted to go to this point or this point you can do so and then just click play which is allows you to see exactly what's going on in that video it's it's handy for the intro um so in this video for example you know people have stuck around for 15 minutes towards this part of the video. So you want to really take a look and see what's going on there. Um, because 
these long continuous segments where the majority of viewers are continuously watching is good stuff. You want people to be sticking around for a long period of time on your videos. So what you can read from this is if you're noticing some of the continuous segments are in the latter part of your video, what you can consider to do is take that content and try to put it in the beginning of your video so that again it lures people it gets people to stick around longer because that might have mean might have meant that a lot of people are dropping off towards the beginning part of the video and whoever's left is only sticking around for the last half so you can consider that you can also consider uh, whatever that content is that people are sticking around for consider creating more videos on that content because again it's telling you that your audience wants more of that you're keeping them engaged you're providing a ton of value to them you can see here that i only have three videos listed when in the previous in this list over here i have nine so that tells me that there's very few videos on the channel where people are sticking around for a long period of time like this so this is something that we need to work on this channel the next type over here is called spikes and spikes are basically where people are re-watching your video so it's it's capturing and by the way guys you can always just hover over any of these if you forget what they mean uh, so this is saying more viewers watched these parts of your video compared to previous parts so it's telling you that you know people might be uh, re-watching they might be going back and re-watching it it could mean because you know something might have been unclear they didn't quite understand so they need to re-watch that part or it could mean that that part of your video was super entertaining and they loved it and they want to watch it again so in order to understand what's actually going on with those spikes you definitely need to come in here and you know replay this part youtube you spend a lot of time creating videos and things aren't really happening and you might be seeing buying views or subscribers as a way to start that growth but so my guess is that in that part i actually say you might be singing buyers i say something weird so probably people were paying that playing that over and over again to see what the heck i was saying you'll get that right so there's parts um like that there again you have to go back and replay that piece to make sure that you know what's going on there am i am i unclear is it like a, or is nothing unclear and it's just really exciting entertaining what's going on there and that is what will allow you to better understand your content to make it better and improve the retention rate for your viewers so you can see here, for example, I just clicked on this vlog here and I replayed this piece. All right. and then last thing, three, this piece is two, where... <laughs> so this is the piece where she actually jumps off. So of course people are going to be replaying that over and over again because that's the most exciting part when you first jump off the bridge. This is actually a vlog um, that we have on our channel. So um, definitely dive into that. Look for those spikes here and really analyze and see what's going on the fourth part here is called dips so dips are where people are dropping off more than usual so it says here fewer viewers watched these parts of your video compared to previous parts so again you want to be able to read into this and click and see in these parts and see why people might have dropped off it might have been a part that people just leave the video right away or it might have been a part where people just kind of skip to another part of the video so it's less retention um, is picking up on there and you can see here that as soon as she jumped boom it's a dip right <laughs> people that's all they came for and then they leave the video so use this tool guys to really you know dive deeper into your videos and find out what's making people stay what's making people leave and if you really want to go in depth and go into a specific video you can go to the video analytics and really dive into the retention rate of that specific video so you can come in here you can look in the overview tab and just scroll down here where it says key moments for audience retention it's just giving you bite-sized information here telling you that the majority of people who were watching this video watched 28 percent of the video on average so again you can come in here you can take a look at this dip what's going on these numbers over here is telling you that you have 
you have 73% of your audience, you have 65%, and then it just kind of dwindles. This is quite common to see a curve like this, just kind of gradually dipping. But what you do want to aim for is have something that is quite, you know, plateaued and stagnant because that means that you're engaging the viewer more. So you want to look for those straight lines in your charts. And again, because that's telling you the segment there, people are watching it more often. Another cool thing that you could do is click on see more. And then it's going to give you a chart where you can see your audience retention, but also how it compares to um, it's a relative audience retention. This is basically how your video compared to other videos on YouTube that are of similar duration. So you can see here with this video, if it's above the, the average line here, uh, it's telling us that this video, in comparison to other videos that are around the same duration, the beginning part is above average. So people are, the retention rate is above average, which is great. Um, the middle part is a little bit below, so in the middle there, and then it, you know, and then it's pretty much average um, moving forward from this part in the video. So let's just quickly take a look at another one here to give you an example. So I'm just going to click on a random video. Um, this is one that I did on what to say in my first YouTube video. So you could see this one is the retention rate for this one is low. It's below average for in comparison to videos that are around seven minutes and 30 seconds and an average of only 34% of people watched this video. So you, this kind of also tells you, don't be afraid to redo some videos. Like don't be afraid to continue pumping out videos around the same topic. Uh, cause just because you did one video on this topic doesn't mean you can't do more. A lot of people haven't seen it yet. They haven't even seen the full video. So consider doing more and just keep testing, try out new ways of doing your introduction. I think it's a great tool here that YouTube gives us to really analyze and go deep into the videos to see how we can improve. But at the same time, don't get lost in this guys. Don't make this, you know, don't get so bogged down in it that it makes it not fun anymore. Another tip that you can consider doing, uh, going back to the dips, if you're seeing a dip in the video, then one thing that you could do is add a card during that part of the video because at least, you know, if you can't keep their attention on that video, at least try keeping their attention on some other video uh, on your channel. So, you know, let them lead them into watching some of your other content so that at least at least it still contributes to the watch time on your channel. So guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. We do have, if you're new to YouTube, uh, we do have a YouTube content planning guide, which gives you 12 ready to go ideas. I'm going to put a link to that free download for you in the description below. And we have a ton of other resources on how to rank your videos higher in the search engine. We even have one-on-one -on -one coaching. So make sure you check out those resources and I will see you in the next video. Bye.